Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in for more Live and Liberty today. I'm here at the Bacon Fraser House, and before I get started, I just wanted to mention to y'all that um, we had so much fun last week with our scavenger hunt, the Liberty Then and Now scavenger hunt all across Liberty County. Thank you so much to everyone that participated. It was so much fun, and that's mostly because of you guys participating. Um, we always like to have participants in those kind of events, and um, we love that you guys had fun too. Um, so I'm going to jump right in now for Monday, today the 14th. Um, the Fort Stewart Red Cross Youth Club will have a meeting at 445 at the Fort Stewart office, um, and that's at Building 253. The City of Midway will hold a council meeting at 6 p.m. today, and at the Hinesville Live Oak Public Library, they will have community power yoga at 640, and this is free to attend. Um, and as always, on Monday nights, the American Legion Post 168 has their bingo night at 645. Um, join in for a chance to win that $500 jackpot. On Tuesday, there is free enrollment and renewal assistance for Medicaid and Peach Care for Kids. This is every Tuesday. It's from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the United Way. WorkSource Coastal will have their Body Language Basics and Interviewing Skills Workshop from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Um, and the Live Oak Public Library will also have their um, Open Computer Lab at 1230, and then there will be a Medicare 101 class at 3 p.m. On Wednesday the 16th, um, Coffee and Conversation All About Art will be at Southern Suites from 10 to 11 a.m. Um, the Diabetes Support Group will meet at Diversity Health Center Conference and Training Building at 4 p.m. And then um, there will be an open computer lab at the Midway Riceboro Live Oak Public Library Branch at 5 p.m. On Thursday, the 17th, WorkSource Coastal will have their Attitude is Everything and Resume Building Workshop from 2 to 4 p.m. The City of Hinesville will have a council meeting at 3 p.m. The Liberty County Board of Commissioners will have a meeting at 5 p.m. And then at the Hinesville Library, um, there will be an adult anime club that meets at 6 p.m. On Friday, um, a lactation support group will meet at the Hinesville Live Oak Public Library at 1 p.m. Bradville Institute's class of 2018 will be graduating at 8 p.m. at Oldie Field. Congratulations. Um, and the nutritional blood analysis will be at Farmer's Natural Food on Friday and Saturday beginning at 9 a.m. There is a cost for this service. On Saturday, there's a beginner pistol course by Liberty Training from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. It's $100 to attend this course. Um, if you need more information, please dial 910-644-4566. Um, there's a powerlifting and bench press competition from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Newman Fitness Center. It's $40 to enter. And if you need more information, um, you can call 912-767-3031. Also on Saturday, the Armed Forces Stay Fish Fry will be hosted by the East Liberty County American Legion Post 321 from 11 to 3. Advanced orders are $8 per plate and can be ordered by calling 912-980-5204 or um, you can pay $10 the day of the fish fry at 60 Butler Avenue in Midway. And then also on Saturday, the Liberty County High School Class of 2018 will graduate at 7 p.m. at Donnell Wood Stadium. Congratulations to y'all as well. And then for our last event on Saturday, we're gonna welcome Miss Margaret Best from the city of Walterville. She's gonna give us um, some details on the Military Day, Military Appreciation Day and Parade. So tell us what to expect. Well, on that Saturday this year, the city of Walterville will, will be celebrating our ninth annual event. Um, we will look for people that are wanting to be entertainers. We have a parade that starts at 10. We will have a Grand Marshal, which is Miss Brenda Bryant. She was the first Command Sergeant Major um, on Fort Stewart. We are greatly appreciative of her coming to speak with us. We'll have events for kids. We'll have some inflatables. There will be all kinds of vendors showing their wares. We have the VFW that will be out presenting for us and the DAB. Our seniors, of course, will be in the parade as usual on that day. And we have a stage from the MWR this year, and we're going to have some entertainment out there. Some ladies coming to dance from us from Inspirational Studios. 
And we have a group of ladies coming to dance from Blackshear. So wow. it should be oh, interesting like day. a lot of fun. Yes, ma'am. So what time is it? It's from 9 to 3. The parade, like I said, will start at 10. And then most events will kick up after our speakers and everything about 11 o'clock. But our vendors are, can be there until come in at 8 o'clock that morning. And we are still accepting vendors if people want to come out. And, you know, nonprofits and profits. We do charge $25 for a 10 by 10 space. Bring your tables and tents and chairs. And for nonprofits, it is free. We have available space still, and we'll take them up until Thursday. Okay, and where would we go if we wanted to watch the parade? What's the uh, route we want to sit on? We're going to start over on Hardman. You guys come join us, and congratulations, graduates. All right, guys, so um, that's all we have for Saturday, and then on Sunday, you guys have a day off, so go sit in the sun, have some fun at Bryant Commons, um, or just hang out with your family at home. Um, and for the ongoing events in Liberty County, um, WorkSource Coastal has those free G youth GED classes on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays from 9 to 3, and their orientation workshop is on Tuesdays, 3 to 4, and Thursdays, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, the meals for the homeless in Hinesville can be found at the Liberty County Manor House, Monday through Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. The Westside Baptist Church for, on Saturdays from 5 to 7 p.m. And Cathedral of Praise will have them on Sundays, 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. And they're also serving lunch on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The Liberty County Recreation Department Summer Program um, is open for registration until all their slots are filled. Um, for more information, you can visit www.lcrd.net or give them a call at 912-876-5359. Azure Art Studio will have a summer art camp beginning May 19th. Um, for costs and registrations, uh, please just visit www.azureartstudio.com. There's a Create Art Camp Summer Program um, open by Jazz Joy's Art Studio. Uh, for more information on this one, you can call 912-319-4179. And then the YMCA Summer Camp will begin on May 21st. For cost and registration for this one, you can dial 368-9622 or go by and visit the YMCA. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. We hope you have a fantastic week.